OVC Basketball Media Days, Jacksonville State Head Coach Annette Watts. Your bunch has been at it for a few days now. So far, so good practice-wise? So far, so good. Uh, with 11 freshmen and sophomores, you're going to have those up and down days. You remember riding those roller coasters? You're high and then you're low and then you're high and then you're low. I love going fast and I love turning right and left, but that up and down, sometimes it kind of gets me. But uh, I just keep preaching to them, Mike, let's be better today than we were yesterday. And I love their enthusiasm. I love how hard they're working. And I like the skill level that we're getting to. Um, so I, I think I think we're going to surprise some people. Seven returning lettermen, including three starters from last year, but then you got seven new faces. So there is a, a little divide right there, isn't there? There is a divide, but it's a good divide because those seven returning, they've kind of taken on a little ownership. The seven new ones, now those five freshmen haven't taken on a whole lot of ownership yet, but the Shauna Trusses, who transferred into us uh, from Stetson, she will be our starting point guard, and, and she's certainly taken on a, a a leadership and an ownership part of this team and you're going to really enjoy watching that young woman play. So that means you can move Carolyn Morton to, uh, or Candace Morton I should yes. say, to the two guard? Absolutely. Candace has slid over to the two guard, which she's more comfortable yeah. at, uh, and it's it's allowed, it, it helps Morrow too, Brianna Morrow, it, it opens her up a little bit more to have a, a point guard that can distribute and do things and not be under the pressure that Morton was under last year. I mean, Shauna Truss has played two years at Stetson. She's got a lot of playing time under her belt. She knows what's going on at the point and, and now we've just got to find that other position uh, at the guard right now. Amanda McCarthy is certainly looking good. Uh, we've got several right now. Uh, Dee Dee McGlynn, uh, a little freshman, is looking good. Um, Mary-Kate um, Gardler uh, wow. transferred to us from uh, a junior college out of Missouri. She's looking good. So they're, they're competing and battling for that other starting position. Anybody that has surprised you, and when I say surprised you, that, that – has stepped up that maybe you weren't counting on or you didn't think you were going to see much of this year? Um, Miranda Cantrell, uh, okay. until she, she fell hard the other day and we're waiting to see what the doctor tells us, but Miranda Cantrell has come in ready to play ball and ready to lead and do some really good things. Uh, and Morton, you know, Candace Morton came back in great shape with a good mental attitude. Um, both of those have surprised me, not – not that I didn't think they could, because I knew they mm -hmm. could, but they've come in with such strong attitudes and such good work ethic. All right, the league going to be a little different for at least the first time through, isn't it? Because, what, four new head coaches in the league this year? Yeah, but goodness, I know all four of them, and all four of them have been in it a while, and they're very, very good coaches. And it'll be, it'll be fun watching their kids learn that system. But I think of those four new folks, you know, the people who get their kids buying into that new system first will, will certainly be a leg up. Um, of course, EIU kind of cheats. They've just elevated, uh, you know, their associate head coach. So they're not going to have a big learning curve. But uh, it's going to be a, a great league. It's going to be competitive night in and night out. And, Mike, I want us to be competitive, and I want us to win. Doug Nabbit. Any changes, um, I say any changes, anything in the uh, preseason polls uh, from the West or the East Division that surprised you? No, pretty much voted the way I would have voted it. And remember, it's not where you start. Even those at the top, you know, I've been there too. You know, pressure's kind of on you. You've got that target on your back, but it doesn't matter where you start. It's where you end. A little more than uh, two weeks out, I guess, from the exhibition game, November the 5th, Pete Matthews Coliseum. Ladies getting ready for that. Oh, absolutely. They're excited. We, we've got a close scrimmage this Sunday with Alabama A&M, so we'll get a little taste of pressing and, and running and gunning. We'll have to see what our defense can do there, how our offense can execute under that type pressure. But, you know, they're coming to our place at the Pete, and then, like you say, we'll, we'll tip that thing off with Blue Mountain College. and. Get it rolling. November 5th, free admission to Axel State against Blue Mountain College 515 for their only exhibition contest prior to the start of the 2011-2012 season.